let's go get that podcast. What are you tracking? Skyrakosaurus. Not our podcast. I'm tracking a big podcast on the scope. Could be ours. Computer. Full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our podcast. Welcome, Swabs, Scalawags, and Sons of Bitches, the Wibbly Wobbly, officially an official, wildly inaccurate, yet dead nuts on Disney podcast, inappropriate on so many levels. And this week, we have one small bit of must-do Disney news. Main topic, the TripAdvisor Game of Shame, COVID edition. Good job, news guy. That's probably the best one you've ever... really smooth. Well, up until that part, it did. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but that was, that was probably the best one you've ever done well done i'm very proud of you hey you know what buddy what you get a gold star mm-hmm. wait i didn't hear him he has to start over again <laughs> jordan i don't know if he's able to do that oh and there's my train what what <laughs> 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 Who the fuck buys a train ticket in the year 2020? Wow, he just ran off. <laughs> Who? What but, do you mean? What do you mean ran? He said he was catching a train. Yeah, he he chased down a train. <laughs> so oh. he he caught a train. <laughs> yeah. I want to know who put a train station in the Mutineer Disaster Studios studio. Well, you need to talk to Giuseppe about that. <laughs> I will have a horrible word design that. flaw. Is, is that a flaw? Your, your mom's a horrible design flaw. Mm, true. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> so, guys, I messed up. What? But, so, last night. Without thinking, I thought it would be a fine idea to have some caffeine before I, right before bedtime. Oh, no. Which oh, normally you drink. Just a Dr. Pepper or two or, or three. <laughs> How, however, normally that doesn't affect me, but for some reason last night it really went to my head and I could not fall asleep to save my life. So I was like, it's okay, I got this handled. So I took a sleeping pill. Because I have some on hand, just in case, for emergencies or weekends when I don't want to answer my phone. Okay. I take one of those, I'm like, all right, about 30 minutes here, I am out. And sure enough, in about 30 minutes, I was out. And in about 32 minutes, I was right back awake. (laughs) Huh, that's weird. And so I power napped for like a good two and a half minutes, and then I was wide awake again. Moral of the story is... Guys, I am effing tired and super low energy. I would have gone to bed, but I wanted to see your smiling faces and hear Josh's voice. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's a first. So I stayed up just for you, but this will be an abbreviated episode for the listeners, so just a heads up. Not if we have anything to say about it. (laughs) (laughs) So it might be an hour instead of an hour and 19 Yep. <laughs> so <Huh>. maybe. <laughs> so I just I just want to point out I'm not drugged. I'm not. So <laughs> 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 hey guys, guess guess what? <laughs> what? I'm getting paid during this episode. Nice. Why? I'm I'm just something you. I'm not paying you. No, I'm I'm on the clock. Uh, how big is this clock? Yeah, it's big enough to park a trailer on. <laughs> I I don't know the punchline to this joke. <laughs> <laughs> big enough to drive a train across? I don't know. Josh, where is this going? Uh, nowhere. I'm just getting paid. Oh. Congratulations. You're the first Mickey Mutineer to get paid. Well, that wasn't a funny joke year. at all. I got paid last year during the podcast a couple of times. 
It was kind of hurtful, actually. Wait, what? Yeah. Why? Because I was on the clock. Oh, right. I, you guys aren't paying me. <laughs> You're damn paid, straight. I'm not getting paid to do the podcast. I'm just getting paid while I'm doing the podcast. <laughs> Lucky. It's like pooping at work. Eh, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I have love taken poutine at work. I have taken famously long poops at work. <laughs> oh, I, I've taken naps on the shitter at work. I've taken naps at work. Well, my previous work, which I am no longer associated with. Oh. Yeah. Come here. I'm going to give you a hug. Come here. All Bring right. it in. Mm-hmm. All right. Come here. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> Jordan didn't even move, and Jake made the effort to actually do a visual gag. I, I just I just let Jake do whatever he wanted. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Guys, listen, that's where I'm at these days. <laughs> hey, w- hey, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Why did you say that in such a downer mode with me trying to hug you? What is that noise? What noise? I have no clue. Okay, so it was Josh. Stop! Nope. I was just getting. It was, a, it was, I was just getting one of those sparkling ice drink things out of the freezer. No, no, it was in a box, wrapped in plastic. Wait, if you froze one of those and then cut the bottle off of it, you'd have an enormous popsicle. It, except it's carbonated, and I'm afraid it would probably explode. Yeah, I think it would. There's only one way to find out. Hey, Josh, you willing to do science for the mutineers? <laughs> science with the mutineers. Not with the ice. Not in Those my things... freezer. Oh. No. Robbie, do it in your freezer. Go buy one. <laughs> I was going to say that's your freezer, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, Except Robbie, I'm do it. Here, I'm here and he's there, so I don't have to clean up the mess. But the good news is, with those sparkling ice ones, there's no sugar, so it's not a sticky mess. It's just a mess. Mm. All right, I'll try it out at some point and yes. record my <laughs> findings okay. on either just video or TikTok, whatever. I still feel like that's video. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Speaking of TikTok... Some, some sort of platform. Wh- 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 what are you guys going to do if fucking Microsoft doesn't buy them in 40 days? Uh, Nothing. I, yeah, I just post I, random ass crap like whenever I get new things like Skeletor or my well, uh, Deadpool. Well, well, Robbie, Pikachu. Robbie they're, they're kicking TikTok out of America. Oh, well. Well, the, <laughs> um, well one, I, I feel like I mean, I, I, it doesn't really personally affect me too much because I don't really use my TikTok page that often anymore. I thought about starting to use it again until all this stuff started to go down. But in response to uh, TikTok potentially going away, which I don't think it will, uh, just because of the sheer ridiculousness behind the reason why it would go away, I don't <laughs> think it's going anywhere. But That's a weird way to say pettiness. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That too. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not dis- discounting that. I, I completely agree with that. Uh, but the Instagram app updated or had an update to where they added their version of TikTok integrated into their app. So not only did Instagram cop Snapchat and integrated it in their, their app, they now copped TikTok and integrated it in their app. And it's called Instagram Reels. <laughs> nice. Wait. That's funny. They Instagram's got a copy of Snapchat in the uh, Instagram. Yeah, well, that's what all of the stories are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But Facebook also has a stories uh, thing. Yeah, but that's because they're owned by, or, or Instagram is owned by Facebook, so they just integrated Copied that. Over. So. Yeah. I have no idea what you guys are talking about with all this TikTok talk because I've never even seen Return to Oz. <laughs> Boo. Oh, this man. Boo. Come on, no. 
No. Oh, so I beat, Giuseppe, join so in I, on the booing. I, I beat Outer Worlds, by the way. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I don't know why I'm leaning closer to my computer, because the microphone is in my ear. <laughs> well, it, it was dramatic. The microphone in your ear? Wait, where do, you, where do you put your microphone? In front of my mouth. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that why it sounded so muffled last week? There's the audio quality. No. Finds him a butt. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, Hey, guys. Robbie's microphone is in your butt, too. (laughs) This is not incorrect. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I just blacked out for a minute there. What's going on? Last week you blacked out. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I, don't uh, even, I don't even remember. Oh, don't worry. We have it recorded. You can go back and listen to it at any time. Well, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, too. I, I'm trying not to remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I listen to that. I, 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 I know I, when I'm drunk, I talk over everybody way worse than I do when I'm sober. <laughs> At least you're self-aware. Eh. Mm. Not when I'm drunk. Can't can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I'm drunk, I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty obvious. So next time you're drunk, uh, I don't know. I was gonna, I was gonna say, can I just kick you off? But that sounds, that's harsh. <laughs> yeah. But I figured if I got your permission first. <laughs> uh, then no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You have my permission. <laughs> okay, deal. So Wait. next time I get drunk, you gotta kick Jordan off. <laughs> hey. I feel like no matter what, it's a win for Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> George is like, all right, well, <laughs> I don't have to work that Monday. Oh, I don't. Oh. Working every day. Hey guys, let's talk some Disney. Let's yes. do this. So high, high fives. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. It's high fives from now on. <laughs> I mean, it's the best I, we've I, had. I miss, I miss the belly bumps. Wait, hold on. Let's uh, let, let's do that whole part over again. Let's uh, All take, right. take I, it for take it from. Let's talk some Disney. Let's talk some Disney. No. <laughs> Cowabunga! <laughs> <laughs> Cowabunga! It is. <laughs> I just spit <laughs> all over my computer. <laughs> This is part Simpson, and that's not Disney, but then again, it's like, wait, it is now. Oh, I was went straight to Ninja Turtles with Cowabunga. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was thinking Ninja Turtles. You didn't say Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> I, I also, you know what else I didn't say? I didn't say I caramba. <laughs> or eat my shorts. Or don't have a cow, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Bart's got a bunch of one-liners, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. We're not one liners. Uh, catchphrases? Catchphrases. Let's go with the catchphrases. That's, yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> hey, like guys. Angry Quidgybo. Oh, what? What? What did you say? It said Quidgybo. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, angry <you> Quidgybo. <laughs> is that like an angry dragon? Hmm. Man, I feel like I just made a Simpson deep cut and no one gets it. I don't like that I know the, the Angry Dragon reference, but not the Simpsons <laughs> reference. Huh. Yeah, it's like a season one reference. My, I think it might be like an episode one or two. No, episode two or three, because episode one was uh, the Christmas episode. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah it's this... been a while since I've watched Simpsons. <laughs> I... You said angry Kuoka, right? Quijibo. Oh, I can't spell that. 
Uh, it's, it's, I don't think it has an official spelling because uh, it was in the beginning of an episode of The Simpsons where they're all playing Scrabble. What does Quirky mean? I'm telling you what it, it didn't even about. spell it right. <laughs> it, it, Siri put qu- quad purple mean. <laughs> oh, that's uh, cool. Well, I was explaining what it meant. Sorry. Too, too far gone. What's next, Jake? So, did you hear about this? Nope. Oh, well, I'm about to tell you. Oh! (laughs) So, apparently, the Walt Disney World Resort, the Disney Must Do Channel, has been... Well, first it was reported as gone completely. But then we found it... Someone found it on Channel 73 in the resort rooms, which used to be the Disney Must Do Spanish Channel. Because a lot of the things on the Disney Must Do's are not currently available. (laughs) Wait. So, oh. Well, wait. So they. Ooh. I didn't even think about that. So, is it gone forever, or just in forever until things are Better. not a giant heap of shit? Uh, if, I'll go with the second one. I'm. I'm guessing since they only moved it to farther down the line, it's still. It's just a temporary thing. Because once things are not a giant heap of shit. I assume. Let, let's be honest. Stacy is a major part of everyone's vacation. I think so. I I will fully admit to sometimes just finding a pre-recorded version of that on YouTube and just playing it in the background whenever I do stuff around the house. Oh, absolutely! I've done that too. Stacy's the best. Stacy mm-hmm. Stacy follows us on Twitter, and it's weird. It freaks me out. <laughs> Stacy, do you want to come on the show? I don't think she's a listener. <laughs> I Although I would, yeah. I would gladly have her on the show, <laughs> but sure, there's I don't know. I'm I'm still working on Bill Farmer though. One day, Are man. You? One day. Are you? <laughs> Shut up, Josh. <laughs> yes. Don't question me. Anyway, that was that was my one bit of news because I'm totally not drugged at all <laughs> currently. I don't think there has been... Oh, wait. I guess there was another piece of news. I guess the the third Tron movie is moving forward, finally. Wait, there's going to be another one? <gasps> yeah. they. Uh, I forget who they announced as the director, but they're looking to get Jared Leto. Oh. No. That's the mistake. <laughs> it's a mistake if you're trying to get Jared Leto, because he's... Him and Suicide Squad as Joker was... Uh, yeah. Disaster. Do not blame Suicide Squad on him. He was but, bad in it. Yes, but. but Suicide Squad in general was just shit. Homeboy also got an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in Dallas. So He, he was give, really good in Blade Runner 2049. I'll, I'll give credit where credit's due. Well, maybe he'll be good in this. I don't. I don't blame him for a bad Joker. I I blame the writing for calling for a bad Joker. <laughs> yeah, but the desi- design was also just terrible as well. Uh, that's again, not his fault either. That's not his fault. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Robbie, nothing you're saying is wrong. Yeah. yeah. Very bad, but nothing Jordan's saying is also wrong because it was. I mean, he doesn't get to make it, the creative decisions. Yeah. Well, I I just don't think he would. I just don't see that working well. Well, I don't know. Hey, the, the guy, the guy that was in the second Tron, has he ever been in another movie? <laughs> I think he was the Joker in something. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it! He was in the Joker. Um, can be a Space Jam two with LeBron, but that's not Disney. Hey, yeah. you guys, should, should I watch the first Tron? I've never seen it. The, the, like the original one or Tron Legacy? The first one. Uh, <laughs> Not the second one. <laughs> I haven't even watched that one. I've been meaning to, but go ahead. I, I like is, it. Is it readily I mean, available anywhere? Uh, yeah, Disney Plus. I mean, what? Oh, hey, it's, there's some other news. Speaking yeah. of Disney Plus, I owe them thirty dollars on September eighth. Apparently, yeah, I probably will too. <laughs> Is it just a rental? No, I, I, 
I heard you get to keep it. Okay. What? Mulan. Uh, yeah. I'm confused now. M- Mulan. I'm dead. He's not wrong. Uh, Mulan is coming to purchase on Disney Plus, which oh, sweet. is technically the first purchasable film on Disney Plus. And everyone was like, boom! It was like, hey man, yeah. like the the internet collectively booed at once. <laughs> but you know what? You see how much money Disney has lost this year? Yeah. Yeah, thanks to our wonderful thanks to capitalism, unfortunately Disney is still a company that needs to make money. So <laughs> I uh I, I feel like I was incredibly indifferent whenever I heard this news. How do you even know this? Oh no, I, I'm I'm indifferent. I just that's a I I just can't even imagine five billion dollars. I have a hard time imagining five dollars. <laughs> Jordan had a good thing on his Instagram story about billions of dollars today. Yep. Uh, Instagram Jordan Gassy. It's available for at least another 12 hours if you want to see it in my stories. It was depressing. Yeah, but it's basically like it's it's basically kind of going in like billionaires like don't earn money because they're billionaires. Like their money earns money for them. So they oh, yeah. don't like there's there's a if you want to use this old, uh, the old uh, people work hard for their money story. Well, like, that's fine. But if you make, you know, over a certain amount of money, then you, you're at a point where you're not earning money. Your money earns your money and you don't have to work. They're and you're doing orders. it at the expense of all of the people who are trying to do the backbreaking labor in order to earn their money. And like, it goes into to much more detail, but it's like it's this idea of billionaires just have way too much money, and if you are a billionaire, that means you made like X amount of money many times over. Um, I oh, I need to go me. back and like I read it and I reposted it because I agreed with it, and uh, yeah. Not to get too far Jeez. off topic, but along these same lines. I read in a podcast somewhere. I didn't actually li- listen to the podcast, so this is all I forgot what it was called. But there's like there's a set earnings number that is like maximum happiness for someone, like how much they make a year. And they they've taken like a survey and everything. Do you, do you guys know what that annual wage is for like maximum happiness? What, what? seventy thousand a year. So now. <laughs> Like when you think of what, like what Jordan was saying, with billionaires over that amount of money, they're not any happier. They're so just, it, yeah. this is this is this is it. Uh, it says there are two ways to become a billionaire. One, you inherit it. Forty-four percent of all billionaires have inherited their wealth. Two, cold-blooded, merciless exploitation of the working class. If you make one hundred and fifty-six thousand thousand dollars a year. Triple the U.S. median income, by the way. It would take you 6,410 years to earn a billion dollars. If you make the federal minimum wage, it'd take you almost 70,000 years. A billionaire is not working 70,000 times harder than a janitor. Labor creates wealth. Harumph! Give this man a harumph. Well, it's also also this idea of, like, for example... If if any one of us got a or oh, hold on, let me start that over. If a billionaire got a thousand dollars, what do you think a billionaire is going to do with a thousand dollars? What what Nothing. what do you think? Yeah, they're they're gonna maybe put it in a a bank account that's most likely offshore, uh, and then that money is just going to get hoarded with the rest of that billion dollars. However, in contrast, you give any one of us a thousand dollars, that thousand dollars immediately gets turned over back into the economy because we have to pay bills. We oh, have yeah. to live. We have to buy food. So, which, which the is the whole that, point like, of this stimulus? Which, yeah, right. And like the fact that a billionaire continues to make money off of a billion of just having money is like it's it creates a larger. Uh, wealth gap yeah and it sucks yeah it's also like i was gonna say when you said if you give any of us a thousand dollars 
a lot of times life changing. Yeah. Yeah. I could do with a thousand dollars right now. A lot. Hell, I I, pay- like I, two weeks ago, I got a five dollar bonus added to my normal weekly pay. So technically, I got a thousand. Five hundred dollar bonus, Robo. Yeah. <laughs> but it, some taxes were already taken out of it, and I did spend like most of it on things I needed. Exactly. That's what we're saying. Life changing. And yeah. I just want to point out that <laughs> Robbie works for the exact guy we are discussing in this scenario. Yeah. That's on? Huh? Oh, yeah. One of the <laughs> billionaires that's on that. Bezos, like the billionaire. Yeah. I feel like we've now tricked the listener into like listening to a Disney podcast, and then <laughs> we just came at him with a class system debate. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I hope you've learned something we're, here we're, today. We're, we're less debating and more bitching. <laughs> yeah, basically. A debate was the absolute wrong word, because it's not really a debate when everybody agrees. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to that debate. Uh, That'd be interesting. But speaking of anger and idiots and stuff, hey, guys, let's get into our main topic. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm somewhat excited about this. <laughs> Mostly... Yeah, the one that you sent me, I've read a few times, and if I... D- this person, oh. that pisses me off. Hold, hold on, let me, let me get into what we're doing. This is, we haven't done this for shit. Since like February or January or something, because we kind of need the parks to be Plus. open to do the Trip Advisor Game of Shame. But what the Trip Advisor Game of Shame is, is I go into Trip Advisor and find the one or two star reviews of Disney related things. Today is the Disney World theme parks because they're the only things open, and we shame these people. And naturally, <laughs> very badly. As you heard the news guy at the top of the show, this is the COVID edition. <laughs> So that's a great name, by the way. The COVID idiots. I I stole it from Reddit. (laughs) (laughs) The whole COVID idiot subreddit. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, really? Is is it as bad as fuck you, Karen? It's pretty much the same. I bet there's a lot of cross posts. So I've sent each of us one review, and Robbie sounds on top of his. Robbie, how about you go first? All right, so the title is Face Mask Ridiculousness, one star, by Misadventures with K. It's had 72 reviews, and they're from London. So here's what it says. So let me get this straight. I pay thousands of dollars to stay and visit only... To be told that I have to wear a miserable hot mask all day? No, thank you. And that's it. Date of visit, July 2020. And somehow one person found that helpful. (laughs) That's the worst. Just just fuck this person. Did she upload herself? (laughs) Probably. But, uh... There's even a photo of herself as the picture. I believe... Wait, does it say when the visit was? Was You said July? Just July 2020. That's it. So in July July. 2020, someone thought it would be a good idea to come from London and go to Florida? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. One, that's like the first mistake. That is a whole (laughs) heap of mistakes just right there, lumped into one. (laughs) Right. And also... As far as wearing a mask at the theme park, now, I know I said this last week, but I'm going to repeat it again. Guys, you're already hot and sweaty and miserable. The mask really doesn't add to it. I went to Lagoon, it was hot and sweaty and miserable. The mask was fine. Yeah. Had I taken the mask off, I still would have been hot, sweaty, and miserable. (laughs) The mask doesn't really add to it. But it kept me safe. That's just because you're at Lagoon. Right. That's the miserable part. (laughs) <laughs> and if you want to see a video of my adventures go ahead and find it over at the mutineer disaster studios youtube page i forgot where i was sending people <laughs> i almost sent them to jordan's page <laughs> oh 
All right, speaking of Jordan, Jordan, you got yours queued up there? I do. All right. All right. <clears throat> this is uh, entitled, The Magic is Gone, and it's got two out of five circles, published on August 8th, 2020, the year of Josh's Lord. Um, by... Yeah, not so much, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's published by Y4359IU Steve B from Kansas City. <clears throat> and it reads Just finishing a five day visit to the boardwalk. I am an annual pass holder and a vacation club member since 1998. My family visits Disney about three times a year. We love Disney. After this visit, though, I'm sad to say I probably won't be back. The quote-unquote cast members who used to make creating your magical vacation experience their top priority have now switched priorities. They are now the enforcers. Enforcers is capitalized, by the way. They bark don't, at don't, you, don't. follow you, harass you, quote, Put your mask back on. Six feet, please. We can't accommodate parties greater than six. And on and on. Whoever trained these people, who used to be emulated by companies around the world, completely omitted the most important part, that the people you are ordering around and shaming are spending thousands of dollars to be here, and they have a choice to just not be here. What? <laughs> Well, this person obviously wasn't following rules. I don't need to spend thousands of dollars to be treated like a first grader or worse. Rethink your approach, Disney. Date of visit, August 2020. Sounds like that person just wasn't maybe, following rules properly. Maybe they shouldn't act like a first grader. <laughs> maybe, they should, maybe they should have been fucking wearing their mask and standing six feet apart from everyone. I, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't have a first grader, but I have a kindergartner. And guess what? He wears his mask and he stands six feet apart from everyone. <laughs> like, willingly. So. At least your school system it seems to be making kids wear masks. Yeah. Required. But. Yeah, our, this, ours not so much. Yeah. I don't understand these people. Okay. <laughs> this gets into the my freedoms group of people. Yeah. Like, okay, they they do have their freedoms out and like <laughs> on their property in public lands, stuff like that. What these people do not realize is that this is private property, and this company that owns this private property wants you to be safe. I was not going to say that. I was going to say they had the re right to refuse to serve you at all. So, your freedoms don't count here. Wear the mask. It is the policy. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that, like they don't want an outbreak of COVID at the parks. You which, imbeciles. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> so wear your goddamn mask and stay six feet apart from people. It was amazing. I went to Lagoon. Nobody had a problem with this. It was fantastic. They actually, they actually made it eight feet apart at Lagoon, which I thought was better because I don't like people. <laughs> well, I guess that helps because, like, if you have more family members, eight feet helps way more. Like, if you have a bit more people in your party. Yeah, so especially in Utah. That, it's typical. That's very smart. I think okay. they should expand it for, like, parks, at like, eight feet, just to be more safe. We need but... to stop complimenting the lagoon. This is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just saying that's <laughs> actually one of the smartest things they've done. This is true. All right, I'll, I'll go next. Josh, you're going to go last, right? Okay. Okay, so my next one is called Not a Clue. It's a one-star review from July 27th, 2020, from Frank C., and he comes all the way from, oh, I always get this wrong. Is it Kissimmee? Yeah, Kissimmee. No, Kissimmee. <laughs> all the way from Kissimmee, Florida, and went to uh, Animal 
What the <laughs> fuck? What right, you, told me to, you told me to kiss you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why Robbie's confused. Yeah. You're fucking welcome, Jake. Thank you, Jordan. I, I brightened my day up. You're welcome. Well, I heard you had a rough day. So. It, uh, I kind of felt like I was floating all day. It was weird. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, Frank C., my wife and I went back to the animal kingdom after the after the COVID reopening. What a shock. We could not even get past screening while we waited for three people to be consulted about my face covering. I was wearing a respirator, and after the third person, she said, We want consistency. How the hell does that protect me from COVID? That was, I read that uh, sentence exactly as it was said, typed. As a customer, it appears that the three months off for COVID has allowed the Walt Disney World staff to turn the procedure upside down and destroy the past Disney experience. Date of visit July 2020. Man, it's almost as if there was a global pandemic going on and things had to change. Yeah. So, so why would why would you wear? Okay, has anyone in here besides me ever had to wear a respirator? I don't think so. I would much rather wear a fucking mask. No, and, I... and and also, how effective is a respirator? I mean, but because it depends on the filters you use. Right. Uh, my question was like respirators. Uh, that that's like to protect the person. Like they just blow out air, right? Right. So so you. You intake filtered air, but then you just exhale your air. So that you're defeats really the defeating the fucking purpose. So when this guy's bitching about consistency, he's incorrect because he's the one being inconsistent. Right. He he's he's a fucking idiot because so the the, the whole point of the masks is if, in case I'm sick, I don't want to accidentally get someone else sick. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the respirator, that goes out the fucking door. Because yeah. it's got a valve on it, so you can exhale. Oh, that sucks. Or blows or something. It blows. So this guy was, like, he took selfishness to the next level. Uh, I, maybe more idi- idiocy. Eh, he's from Florida. Yeah, okay, fool. <laughs> there you Selfish go. Selfish <laughs> idiot. <laughs> a selfish COVID idiot. <laughs> also, uh, call call him Long John Silver's because he's selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come up with that. That's, that's uh, that, that, was that was Eminem. That was Eminem. That was Eminem. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, I a, a, a song a song on his last album. Oh, rhymes like that. Let's hope it was his last album. <laughs> <Whoa. Anyway. laughs> no, no, I take that back. I do not want to diss Eminem. He'll destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably I, destroy I, the whole podcast. I, I've come to enjoy him re- in recent months. I know nothing about him. I enjoyed him in like eighth grade. I, I would go back and go go to app go. Uh, you don't have Apple Music. No, I'm cool. I have a Spotify. <laughs> Find a Eminem is a special music. List. You have Apple Music? Yeah, yeah well, you're, accidentally. You're, you're the one holdout, Jake. <laughs> it, I, I, when I bought my iPad back in March, it came with three months free of Apple Music. So I was like, all right, I'll go for it. And then I just didn't cancel. And I got a charge the other day. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I subscribe to Apple Music now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I will. I will say it comes in handy at work whenever I can't find anything to listen to. Um, they'll they'll always give me like the recommended artists. I'm like, sure, I'll just listen to this. I'm like, oh, this is actually nice. Yeah, it's handy. And apparently, there's a lot of Disney Parks music on there too that I haven't I haven't uh, yeah del- I, I've delved into yet. I, yep, there's a I have uh, almost all the riots on a playlist. I, I think I'm missing a few, but I'm pretty sure those haven't popped up on Apple Music yet anyway. Or they've been deleted. 
That's not the Apple way. Just kidding. That's exactly the Apple way. All right, Josh, what's yours? Uh, mine is terrible wood rate zero with one dot from July 27th, 2020 by, should I try to pronounce this or just put the, say the letters? Uh, okay. No, I want, you, I want you to pronounce it. A, uh, so Ode Han L2020. Close enough, I guess. A, it was A O D. Would that be Ode? Yeah, it would be Ode. Ode. Yeah. Anyways, so here we go. Waited all day since the park opened for the stupid Star Wars ride and wasn't able to ride it because of the dumb virtual queue. They should just run the line normally. No punctuation. <laughs> and that's the whole thing. The virtual Bumper queue is so that point. you can get a spot and ride the ride so so why were you able to ride it because of the virtual queue i mean i don't know how it works quick show of hands who has been able to ride it because of the virtual queue i had, i didn't use the virtual queue but i have rode it no you 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 didn't ride that one jordan needs what? to raise his hand oh which, which one I, are they talking about what uh, he, he, well he said the stupid star wars ride so that could be either of them how dare you? <laughs> no, Jordan, I said, out of us, who has been able to ride the Star Wars ride via the virtual queue? Oh, that would be me. See? But you're probably wondering what this guy, why he fits into the COVID edition. But at the end, when he says they should just run the line normally. There was no line to run normally. It's only a virtual queue. Yeah. Oh, that's all it's been, hasn't it? For well, Rise of the Resistance, yes. But also, you can't run a queue normally in a pandemic! Because that's a yeah. lot of people in a small space, so F this guy. Yeah, I, I just, I don't get where people's fucking brains are, man. I don't know. <clears throat> well, the idiots that do stuff like this are only considered for one person themselves. Oh, oh, our president is one of those people. <laughs> All right, pump the brakes. Oh, well, hold on. He, he no, cares about damn other it. people. It's, he cares about Vladimir Putin. Putin? Putin? Putin, Putin on the on Reds. It's uh. <laughs> a good song. And he cares about his daughter. He'd date her if <laughs> she wasn't his daughter. His I, words, not I, I saw something. I saw something on my uh, on my Facebook feed yesterday from a Trump supporter who uh, posted a video of Biden. I guess like tap tapping a girl on her shoulder uh, while he was asking her a question, and uh, the the comment that followed it was, "Oh, if anybody supports this pedophile, just delete yourself off my profile right now." And I was like. Buddy, have you not seen any of the pictures of Trump and his daughter? Like, any of them? And there's a lot. Far worse. <laughs> Far worse. Not that, I'm, not that I'm thrilled for Biden. I was an Elizabeth Warren supporter. But, uh, you know, fucking, if my, tr- if my choices are Biden or Trump, it's definitely Biden for me. <laughs> if my choices was a rock or Trump. <laughs> Vote I- for rock. Vote rock <laughs> all day. <laughs> so, yeah, that was stupid people. Stupid country. <laughs> what country? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, no, stupid country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, guys. Yeah, they were in bloom this time of year. <laughs> that's been in bloom all effing year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, we made Jake cry, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna go depress sleep. So, you've been listening to the Mickey Mutant Ears. Oh shit! And uh-huh. <laughs> God damn it! Every Monday night, <laughs> I'm Jake. That's Josh. That's Jordan. That's Robbie. As always. Ah! 
finds him a butt. <laughs>